All right, one Mainer is preparing to ride in his sixth Pan Mass Challenge after his life was forever changed in 2015, making him a Dana-Farber patient ever since. New Center Maine's Ann Baldridge has the story. One Mainer is preparing to ride in his sixth Pan Mass Challenge after his life was forever changed in 2015, making him a Dana-Farber patient ever since. Abraham Landu trains every week for the annual 192 mile pan mass challenge to benefit Dana Farber cancer research and treatment. In 2015, he went in for a physical. His doctor called after saying his blood work looked off and he needed to do some more testing. And it was Friday and it was, you know, ERs are triage. And so they were telling people like it'll be a four to five hour wait. And then I went to the front desk and they said, Mr. Landau, your room is right over here. So I was like, oh no, something's definitely off. 24 hours of testing later. It turned out I had um, testicular cancer and then a form of chronic uh, leukemia called CML. You know, statistically folks don't get two types of cancer at once. There was not much he could do but begin taking a chemo drug. The CML medication had two side effects, nausea, and weight gain. I slowly gained like 75 pounds um, and got to the point where I was like, all right, I need to figure out how to work harder than this drug. Otherwise, that's going to be what hurts me. Ultimately inspiring him to do his first challenge. This August, he's doing his six PMC. Everyone that's riding the pan mass uh, has that uh, common you know goal of what they're riding for but then living proof riders it's a little bit more 100% of the donations from the challenge will go to Dana Farber Cancer Institute if you'd like to donate to Abraham's team we have more information on our website and Kenny Bunk and Baldridge is Center Maine